how gut bacteria could be affecting your brain. You ever get a gut feeling about something? Recent studies have been looking at the link between the gut, specifically the microbiome, and its effects on the brain. How could gut microbes be affecting and reaching the brain? One possible route is through the vagus nerve, the connection between the brain and the gut. Another possibility is that gut bacteria break down fiber into short-chain fatty acids that can have effects throughout the body. Brain disorders have been linked to the immune system, and with 70 to 80 percent of the immune system located in the gut, treating the microbiome could be vital to finding effective cures. In the future, treatment for conditions like depression and anxiety could include alterations to the gut microbiome. Follow your gut. Man in vegetative state responds to treatment. After being in a vegetative state for 15 years, a French man is showing some signs of consciousness after neurosurgeons implanted a vagus nerve stimulator in his chest. Researchers wanted to test the ability of vagus nerve stimulation to restore consciousness in a person in a vegetative state. Vagus nerve stimulation begins with implanting a device in the chest and running a wire under the skin. This wire connects the vagus nerve and the device. The device sends electrical pulses along the nerve to the brainstem, which in turn transmits these impulses to certain brain areas. Researchers found that after one month of stimulation, the patient's attention, movements, and brain activity significantly improved. The scientists are now planning a larger study to confirm and extend the potential of vagus nerve stimulation. Molecule from tree found to be able to treat iron deficiency. Researchers have discovered that the molecule henokitiol restores iron transport in cells with missing or defective iron transporter proteins, dubbing it molecular prosthetics. In healthy cells, transport proteins move iron across the cell membrane, where it's needed to make hemoglobin that carries oxygen to the body. If the transporter is missing or defective, iron cannot cross through the cell membrane. The lack of iron reduces hemoglobin production and the body's red blood cell count. This decreases the body's oxygen levels and causes the heart to pump faster. A trio of henokidial molecules has been found to restore the transporter function. The polar ends bind to iron, while the nonpolar ends create a shield, allowing it to cross into the cell membrane. With cells now receiving iron, hemoglobin production and red blood cell count are both restored to normal levels. Henokidial has been tested on animals, where it's been shown to promote iron uptake in the guts of mice and prompt hemoglobin production in zebrafish. In future studies, researchers hope to develop similar drugs to treat transporter protein-related diseases, such as cystic fibrosis and lupus. Tree Man No More. It may have taken a year and an insane number of surgeries, but this Bangladeshi man couldn't be happier to finally have his hands and feet back. A rare disease caused lesions to appear on the man's skin at the age of 10. They worsened over time and made it difficult for him to make a living as a rickshaw driver. Soon, bark-like growths started sprouting from his hands and feet, making it impossible to do anything except scratch his neck. The 27-year-old was dubbed Tree Man by the international media and is one of only four people in the world to ever be diagnosed with the disease. Doctors in Dhaka offered to treat him free of charge and moved him and his family to the hospital last February to begin the first of many surgeries. 16 operations later, doctors have removed 11 pounds of growth and restored Tree Man's hands. He'll still need a few more surgeries to pretty up his digits, but now he can at least eat, write, and hold his daughter. Girl feared to have rare genetic condition. Epidermodysplasia verusiformis, or tree man syndrome, has been known to afflict only a handful of people around the world, all of them male. But now doctors fear the rare disease has found its first female victim. When bark-like warts began appearing on the girl's face four months ago, her father wasn't too concerned, but the growth soon worsened, spreading rapidly across the 10-year-old's nose, ears, and chin. The girl's father is a poor laborer from a village in Bangladesh's rural north, but he was so worried, he took his daughter all the way to the capital, Dhaka, for treatment. Doctors suspect the young girl has the so-called tree man disease, 
but are still carrying out tests to confirm the diagnosis. The girl has been admitted to the same hospital that's been providing treatment for this poor guy, known as the Tree Man of Bangladesh. The Tree Man endured 5 kilogram growths on his hands and feet before receiving multiple surgeries for over a year to have them removed completely. Doctors are hopeful that the girl has a milder form of the disease, which they can clear with one surgery.